All right, today I'm going to show you how to set up an amortization table. We start by collecting information. We need the amount that needs to be paid off, the yearly interest rate, the length of the loan in terms, and how many periods a year the loan needs to be. Usually that's monthly. The next thing we do is we compute the periodic interest rate by taking that yearly interest rate and dividing it by the number of periods a year. And then we need to know the total number of periods. So we take the the life and loans times the periods a year, and that gives us the periods. And now we need to know the payments. So we use the payment function. We use the periodic interest, the number of periods, and we put in the amount owed with as a negative, so that our result will be positive. Then we make the period column using this formula if the previous balance is zero and if the previous period number is zero, if the previous period is null, then we not null, then we do plus one to the previous period number and we drag that down for 360 periods. The principle is really simple. The principle is just the payment minus the interest. The interest is also simple. It's the previous balance times the periodic interest rate. And the payment is we check and see if the payment is less than the balance, if it is, we if we want to put in the payment amount. Otherwise, we have put in the previous balance plus the interest, and we drag that down like you can see. The set extra amount as well is is interesting. We check and see if this is still equal to that is less than that if so we put zero otherwise we check the previous balance minus the principal and see if it's less than the extra payment if it is we take the balance subtract the current principal and put that for the set extra payment otherwise we pay the payment then for the balance we are going to check and see if the balance minus the previous balance minus the principal minus the set extra amount minus the extra amount e is less than or equal to zero then we put zero in otherwise we subtract the principal set extra amount and extra amount from the balance We drag it all down like that and we come out with a zero. And you can use conditional formatting on these columns when the when these numbers are equal to zero. That they can you just match the font and the background. I'll show you for an example here, let's say we're gonna pay an extra three hundred dollars every month and it ends sooner so here we have all of these zeros that have just been made to look nice and blank and the periods have stopped because of the formula in the cell and we can decide you know that we want to pay an extra lump here and shorten it even more so it's really flexible because you can put in non-repeating extra payments and repeating payments. And with a little bit of formatting, these can be made to look very nice. Feel free to visit me at www.excaliburssheets.com to learn more about Excel, bookkeeping, accounting, and financial tips.